what what was it like for you when Fiddler came out? Well, I, uh, it was certainly thrilling. I mean, I um, again, uh, I knew Zero a little bit. I knew more his kids. Um, uh, Toby was a year older than me, and Josh, I didn't really know. Um, but so there was that, and I did see it, and it was exciting. And it was exciting that it was such a hit. And uh, so it was mainly just sort of this sense of exhilaration, I would say. Um, I had read, I, I realized, I had read the Tevye stories, and I liked Shalom Aleichem quite a lot. Um, I just, I don't think, I, I just didn't think it was going to be popular. Uh, but it was just, I think it was mainly that sense of acceleration, of excitement, like some, of, of, of a hit. Uh, so I think that was probably the biggest uh, effect it had on me. And seeing Zero. You see, there were Jewish shows on Broadway, like the, the Goldbergs on TV, etc. I think, to my argument, and Elisa I think would agree with this to some extent, I think what was different about Fiddler was it was making the Jewish background be the Jewish present like and, and making it be everyone's present it was making popular culture out of the link to, to this past I mean what I always say is okay the fiddler set is all about circles it's you know Tevye's house is a circle the house opens up so it's a circle of its own it's on a revolver and that revolver is on another revolver and in my father's original sets, echoed a little bit in the current production, the houses go all around. So you're in the circle of the family, which is in the circle of the community, which is in the circle of tradition, right? So that's what the show is about, except that there's another figure in the show, another spatial figure, and that's the railroad, which is a line which is taking people out and at the very end of the show, as they leave, they form a line. They're forming this line. The circle is broken. But the point is that for all of those creators of that show were the product of the world of the line. They were the product of the world of individualism and the world of opportunity and the world of self-creation, not the world of the enclosed circle. And so the way in which they could bring together the vantage point of being the product of the world of anomic individualism and the world of the circle and tradition and make that into American popular culture so that it wasn't just speaking to people on the Upper West Side. It was speaking to the whole country. I mean, to me, you know, this week they're doing the new version of Roots. It was Roots. It was that moment in which you can say, as a part of modern American popular culture, can also be this investigation into who you were and where you came from, and that you can have both. And I think that's what Fiddler did. It said that Broadway can be about you. It can be about who you were and where you came from, which then you get a chorus line. It's about being gay in the theater in New York. You, you get roots on TV, and that to me was the shift. And, and I, so I don't think it was being Jewish per se, it was being Jewish in that particular mix of being past looking and forward looking and popular. And you could find that place where it all fit together. It's not just about a milkman and his daughters and who they like or don't like, it's about tradition. And it's about tradition making you be what you are and the moment when you have to leave it and you have to crack it. And, and I think that, that's why it's so resonant, whether in Japan or now or, or then. And I think that was, it wasn't clear that Broadway could do that. And, and it did. And... Um, I think that after, I mean, you know, people have criticized this, 
but you could also say it's the beginning of the way of a beginning of the way of sort of popular culture of identity. You know, popular culture is about who I am, as opposed to, I mean, I've said this many times, as opposed to popular culture being about white Christmas. You can be whoever you are at home, but what you have to sell is a certain kind of shared generic image. And because it really interests me, those moments where you can appear in public not as a caricature, but in effect as yourself. And in that, you can be popular. And I think that's where art becomes transformative. It's not just giving you who you knew you were when you walked in the theater. It's you see something else about yourself and the theater makes you acknowledge something about yourself. And so my wife's Jewish grandmother always used to, when they would go, when was seeing the movie, a fiddler, she would say, that's exactly how it was. 